Hello, hello, and welcome. My name is Mini Betrayal, and this is Factorio. Today, we are going to go through the There Is No Spoon achievement. Um, this is not the first time I've done this. Um, I do have a previous series based around 0 0.16. However, this is the 0 0.17 uh, currently experimental release, though as of recording, it's due to be declared stable fairly soon. Um... So, if you're following along with the stable releases, there's a whole bunch of updates um, that will change how you want to be playing the game. So, um, this is designed as a kind of guide stroke walkthrough. Um, I'll be talking about various techniques that I'm using to speed up play. Uh, if you don't know, the achievement in question, There Is No Spoon, is received for launching a rocket within eight hours of starting the game. Um, now, I did a bit of a dry run yesterday, um, and without any preparation, I did manage to launch a rocket in, I think it was about six hours, ten minutes. Um, it was actually supposed to be this series, but I screwed up the recording, so I guess we're going again. So, uh, yeah, so there's a few things to consider. Um, when when you are keeping playtime in mind. Um, so I'll be sort of explaining what I'm doing. It's I'm not going to be saying, like, do exactly this and then do exactly that, as you might in a walkthrough in, like, a story-based game. Um, but hopefully you should be able to take away some pointers and techniques that you can use to have a go at the achievement for yourself. Okay, so... First things first, uh, this is a vanilla playthrough with a couple of changes. I have two mods installed. One just puts a clock in the top left corner, um, just so you can see exactly how long I've been playing at any given time. And the other is a mod that uh, means power poles give off light. Uh, this is because you don't need lamps to actually launch the rocket, um, but with videos and YouTube in particular for some reason it can be it can be quite difficult to see what's going on in the dark. So that is a mod that won't change anything I do, but it means hopefully you'll be able to see what's going on a little bit better. So they're the only two mods I've got installed. Now, if we go play new game, there's there's a few things you want to consider when choosing a map. So, um, if if I go just to the preview here, so you can see here there's a lot of water around. We don't actually need that much water. Um, if this is the centre, then I've got to go a fair ways for coal. Uh, there's a little bit of stone, and these resource patches here, they're not bad sized by the looks of it, but... Um, that's not going to be enough to get everything done in the time we want. Plus there's cliffs in the way, and there's biters quite nearby. So, um, what I have done, this is the map I used in my playthrough yesterday. So you can see what I've done. I have bumped up the frequency of various ores. Uh, I've turned uranium off because we don't need it, and crude oil. The size is all massive, the richness is all massive. Under terrain, I've turned water off, which means we only have this single patch of water near the starting area. Uh, trees I've got on, um, but I've put the scale right up and the coverage right down, which means that there isn't a lot... that There, uh, there aren't a lot of trees in the way, so we're not going to have to contend with that. Now, I do want to try something, actually, because in the playthrough I did yesterday... I had to go very far afield to actually find uh, any trees. The closest trees I found were up here, although maybe these ones might have been a bit closer. Yeah. It's not a great deal in it, I think. Um, so what I'd like to do, I'm just going to tweak this a little bit, see if I can... Yeah, because I like this. So what, what I'm going to do, this is going to be my main resource patch, and I'm going to have a main bus running north. Um, 
So I don't want trees here, but I do want trees nearby because we're going to be using them for power poles. Yeah, so I think that will do it. If I bump it down just a little bit more, what does that look like? That will do, I think. So we've got some trees there, a couple of trees down there that we can use. Okay, uh, cliffs I've turned off because they do nothing but get in the way. Now the enemies, you do need to have enemies on, otherwise you will disable the achievement. I still don't know if you can enable peaceful mode or not, but what I've done is I've turned the frequency and size of the biter bases right down as far as they will go and set the starting area as big as it will go. Um, so, let's see, uh, yeah, so I've got what looks like a single base there, a um, couple of things over there, and a couple down there. So. Yeah, it, I'm not really going to have to worry about pollution at all. Um, and then advanced. This is one thing I forgot to do yesterday. Research queue always. Um, so that way you can always be queuing up something. Okay, so uh, let's hop in and play the game. Okay, first things first, um, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to come down here. So part of the reason I chose this map in particular is because we have big deposits of iron, uh, copper and coal all right next to each other, which means I don't have to do a lot of uh, running backwards and forwards in the early game. Okay, so we're going to start off just by getting a little bit of iron going. You can see the clock there in the top left corner, that's all that mod does. Okay, just a little bit of coal, don't need a huge amount. Okay, so you should know, how, you really should be knowing how to do that. Um, just to drop items in something without opening it. Um, it's just control and then left click to drop the whole stack or right click to drop half the stack. So if you're doing two things, half, and then left click to drop the other half. Okay, so once I've got some iron plates, and I'm going to be making more of these burner mining drills. Now it takes five stone to make a furnace. So we can start by getting the furnace ready. Someone is trying to call me, that's inconvenient. Okay, and okay, so we should be able to grab a mining drill and as I said, it takes five stone to make a furnace, not just the one. Okay, All right, so first up, I want two of these guys. And we're just going to put them right next to each other to start getting some coal ready to go. So they will just start feeding into one another and make an infinite supply of coal. Okay, so we'll grab enough stone for another couple of furnaces. Um, now on this particular map there isn't any around, but if you do see any rocks that you can mine, they will give you more stone for the time you spend mining them. Um, okay, I'll put a couple more in there, that's all right. Grab the iron. Okay, and what we're going to end up with, ideally, is probably somewhere around the six, maybe eight, um, drills and furnaces making iron plates and probably just a couple on copper as well and one on stone. Okay, so I'm going to move that one just there. Just makes it a little bit easier to pick up if it's all in a single line, that's all. Okay, now there's going to be a fair amount of 
time in this playthrough where I'm not really saying anything, um, just doing repeat repetitive tasks like this. Um, but unlike my other series, I'm not going to have any jump cuts. I'm going to follow the example I set in my point 16, there is no spoon run, and just speed up the boring bits for you. Um, so you can see everything I'm doing, but you're not going to get bored. Hopefully, anyway. Okay, so we'll grab another couple of them, another couple of them. Bit more coal. Okay, now ordinarily, um, what I like to do is to get a uh, a few mining drills feeding into a wooden box just to pick up some stone so I don't have to spend all my time mining um, mining stone by hand. But yeah, I don't have any wood on me at the moment, so I'm going to do something that I very rarely do and actually make an iron chest. Okay, another one of them, one more. Okay, keep everything fueled as you can. Okay, iron chest. Then one, two, three, four. With a chest in the middle. And they will obviously need some fuel. Oh, and I have not yet pressed alt. Okay. Right, that means I shouldn't really have to mine any more stone. I can concentrate on building things. So I'm going to throw down a copper one as well. Build another couple. Okay. Things are starting to run out of fuel a bit more quickly, so I am going to do that. So that way, that will double our coal production speed. Okay, things are progressing reasonably well. Okay, I'm going to start making some components for power. Okay, ideally you always want to be crafting something. Because every second you spend crafting something is a second you don't have to spend crafting it later. And you will always need more stone furnaces, so don't worry about that. Okay, I'm going to make sure these things are fueled up. Okay, and then I'm going to run and get some wood. Which isn't actually too far away. Last time I had to run for like two minutes just to find some wood. Okay, while I'm here, I will make some power poles because we'll be needing them. Okay, so we will also need a lab and some automation science packs. Okay, while we're discussing science, let's have a quick look at what science we want to do. So I want to start off with automation, and I will follow that up with uh, logistics, because we'll want the underground belts. Um, and then, do I want to go for steel straight away? Um, I'll queue it up. Okay. And after that, we can do the steel axe, which will means we can make some stuff a bit faster. Well, actually, we can take stuff down a bit faster. Okay, um, all right. make sure everything is still queued up over here. Okay, so let's run over to the water and start setting up some power. Yeah, if you make stuff in the wrong order, don't be afraid to just change it around if you need to. Right, so I'm going to do that. 
and then strictly speaking the underground pipe isn't necessary but it helps keep things neater in my opinion I'm going to start off with one boiler two steam engines power pole the lab which I'll put those straight into and I'll put the coal in there and we are starting off with the science okay we'll just wait for this last one to get finished and boom there we go okay Okay, we'll bring some power back in this direction. Because as you might expect, we are going to need some power to do some electric mining. Okay, All right, I'll make a few more power poles while I'm there. Alright, pick up the stuff. Okay, and we want to make some mining drills. Also, never be afraid to make belts, because we're going... Belts is probably going to be what I spend most of my time complaining about not having. Okay, so the automation is done. Okay, let me set up some things down here that I'm going to need. Um, miners, assembly machines, power poles. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay. And we are going to run this north to a little bit higher than that. I want to make sure we've got enough room to do some jigging around if we need it. Okay, and there we will have um, some smelters. Okay, All right. Let's run back down here. Refuel, restock. Need to make a bunch of because this one needs twenty of them. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. Oh, and I've run out of power over there. Uh, it's not the end of the world. We'll go and sort that in a second. Okay, so... Uh, do I want to do that now? No. Let's go and sort out the power. More belts. Okay, may as well get started on at least some of that. Okay, so I'm going to feed some coal in there. Go grab some more stuff. 66 furnaces might seem like a lot, but as I said, we are always going to need some... I don't quite want to put 50 in there. Okay, just waiting for these to get started. I'll start off by... I'm going to use this down here as um, my first coal deposit, I think. Um, yeah, which actually means I don't want those belts going that way. I want them coming this way. 17, 18, 19, 20. That works out quite well. So from one offshore pump, you can feed 20 boilers, which in turn will give you up to 40 um, steam engines worth. Okay, so you might notice that um, that inserter I just put down is a burner inserter. It's more of just a personal thing, but I always like to have at least one burner inserter in my power. Um... It just helps kickstart things should anything go really wrong. Okay. More belts. Okay. 
And you can always run on belts just to help things go a tiny bit faster. Okay, so that wants to go up there. Oop. 